you know, check out this spider here. And I want you to understand the complexity of the engineering here. They're building their web across this water uh, channel. I mean, imagine that, you're a little insect, you've got no tools, and here he is right here, right? Sitting in the middle. You have no real tools, all you have is the wind. And you're a pretty large size spider. I don't know if you can see that, he's a pretty big spider right there. You see that? Do you see the spider right in here? Right, right here? He's hard to see. Where are you? I can't even find him in the video, but oh, there he is. <laughs> He's right there, I didn't have the camera on him. But, and there's more than here. Look at that. These very amazingly skillful spiders. And again, it's really hard to see, but they're actually there. You know, spiders are truly an amazing creature. And what they can do with their web is just unbelievable. And they're so underutilized in modern agriculture, right? Because all you would have to do is put poles around your farm, you know, um, and I, you know, we'd have to experiment to find the optimum amount, right? But if you put poles that are two meter high, three meter high, two to three meters high, that are about a meter apart, and you space them all around your rice field here, right, down this row and down the middle, rice fields would be perfect for this you'd have spiders on every one of them. And those spiders would be catching not only the, um, um, the wax moths that actually get in and are damaging to, um, um, what is it, uh, what plant? It's, it's soba, in English it's buckwheat. Um, you would also be removing insects like um, uh, mosquitoes and others, you know, catching beetles. I mean, these are big spiders. A beetle that flies into these things, the small, like the brown beetles, the Japanese brown beetles and other things, you get away with it. And all you'd have to do, again, is put up poles that are two or three meters by one meter apart, set spaced out. And if, if spiders can, can put a web across the water here, they would be all over those poles. And it's a, it would be a lot better better positioning for these spiders to be on those poles than across this water. Um, even though being across the water isn't that bad because mosquitoes and stuff coming down to drink get, get themselves caught in it. Just an idea on how to save the world with FoundUps. And uh, if you like this talk, go to FoundUps.com and become a patron of mine on my never-ending crowdfunding solution to save the planet. I'm going to save the planet. I'm going to be the guy who's going to be credited for saving the planet with FoundUps, provided you join me in launching them yourself. FoundUps are easy, they're just any idea that helps our planet and its living systems, like these, these spiders, putting poles around a field, putting poles around a rice field or around um, uh, a wheat field or anything else is going to help the living systems, provided you're not spraying pesticides. And we have to do some studies and stuff but this is the kind of studies that we need to do to figure out how many we need, how space, and everything else. This is the kind of research that we need to spend our time doing. And um, it's a perfect kind of found out.